Since this is Pet Appreciation Week, we are turning to an expert to get the answers to some pet-related questions like, what's the best dog for apartment living? Or what's the best dog to take hiking? Andrea Arden, pet expert for Animal Planet, is here to help your family match the perfect pet to your lifestyle. Andrea, first off, I totally adore you on Dogs 101. I know we're going to the right person oh, for these. Oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> so when it comes to kind of matching our pet and our lifestyle, what's maybe the first thing that we should consider? Well, I think one of the most important things is I really try and encourage people to consider the adoption option. I think going to your local rescue or shelter is such a great idea for many reasons. Obviously, you're saving a life, which is super important. And also, from the perspective of choice, you have so many options when you go with these groups. They have dogs of all sizes, all ages. They have mixed breeds. They even have lots and lots of purebred dogs, like Nico here, who's a Karen Terrier, and Roger, who's resting back there, who's an American Eskimo. Um, and people have a great opportunity opportunity this Saturday. Tractor supply stores all across the country are hosting these rescue groups um, in honor of Pet Appreciation Week. And so they're bringing the groups in and it means that families can go in there, they can meet lots of different animals and spend a lot of time with them and really get to know them and consider things like their activity level. So if you're a very active family, of course you can choose an active dog like Nico, who even though he's small, um, he's got a high energy level, almost like a Labrador Retriever. Um, and so you want to make sure that when you choose, you really try and match yourself up for the best chance of success. I think that's great. Like you said, if you're an active family, you want a dog that's active. Um, and also maybe if, you know, you're wanting, let's say, a guard dog or, a, you know, a, a dog that maybe you think will help with the kids and teaching them responsibilities. I know you have a lot of uh, information on those kinds of, of looking for questions that people might have. Well, in response to the kid thing, you know, oftentimes people will say to me, what's a great dog for a family with children? And I always really want to err on the side of caution. There is no breed or no mix of dog that is in and of itself great with kids. It's really about, again, choosing a dog based on its individual personality or temperament. Um, that's first and foremost. And that means you have to make sure you spend time with them before you bring them into a home with kids. Um, but as a general rule of thumb, you really want to be careful to consider that an animal needs to not only be physically durable to handle life with kids but also mentally durable so if you have like a frail little chihuahua who's super sensitive um, that clearly is probably not a dog that's going to do well in a home with very young kids but what I would say to people is probably one of the best choices for most families is to consider adopting an adult or a senior dog. Because not only does it mean that you get to know the dog really for who they are, they're probably gonna be a little more mellow. Um, and most of those dogs are already house trained. Um, but if you choose a senior dog, make sure that you consider that when you adopt them, their needs are gonna be quite different than if you adopt a puppy. So for example, in regards to their food, you wanna make sure you choose a food for health Health is a really great option um, that's formulated specifically for adult or senior dogs. And speaking of the food, once we have chosen the right animal that fits our lifestyle and our family, what are some other things that we might want to pick up as a kind of a starter kit with our new dog? Well, I'd probably say one of my favorite things to pick up if you adopt a dog is what are called food stuffable or enrichment toys. The Kong is a really good example. It's hollow in the middle and there's a reason for that. It's so that you can take your dogs either normal meals or special treats and put them in there. And what happens is your dog now, instead of eating out of a bowl, eats out of these types of enrichment or puzzle toys and it's a great way for them to sort of hunt for their food and burn off mental and physical energy. So that's great for all dogs, whether they're super active or not so active. I think that's great. I have a Connie Corso Stout. I talk about him on air all the time, and he loves <gasps> his Kong. He loves it. He knows that I put peanut butter and pumpkin and all this other fun stuff inside of his Kong. Andrea, I know uh, before I let you go, did you have any other last tips? I know, of course, we're uh, going to go on Saturday to the tractor uh, supply company, make sure we, we check to see what dogs are available. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I think people, um, they can find out more information and find a tractor supply near them by going to tractorsupply.com. Um, and as a final tip, I really would just say to people again, make sure you're choosing a dog or a cat based on their personality and their suitability for your family's lifestyle rather than just the way they look. I love that, Andrea. I know we were talking uh, before uh, this segment. I know you have a Tucson tie. We can't wait for you to come here. Please, you're always welcome to come by the studio yeah. and see us.
I'm so excited. I'm really looking forward to it. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Don't go anywhere. The Morning Blend will be right back.